Iran's state broadcaster, Hyderab, has sacked the head of a regional TV channel after it broadcast a Jackie Chan film without removing a sex scene, a video posted online, apparently by a viewer on King's Island, showed the Hong Kong martial arts star sleeping with the woman in the film, Shinjuku Incorporated Ident. Iranian media said the immoral scene was aired by Kish TV in total violation of virus regulations. Physical contact between men and women is not permitted on screen in Iran. Censors are also said to be required to remove men and women, exchanging tender words, jokes, and veiled women. Close-ups of women's faces and exposed necklines, as well as negative portrayals of police and bearded men. The Tasnim News Agency reported that the head of Iraq, Ali Ali Asgri, had ordered an investigation into the incident and pledged to seriously deal with the offenders and report them to the relevant authorities. Some Iranians mocked the broadcaster's response on social media using the hashtag Pound Kiki channel in Persian. Some noted that officials had so far avoided dismissal over the fatal but scratch that killed 10 students at Tehran's Islamic Azad University last week. Buses turn over, planes crash, ships sink, no one is dismissed. A few seconds of Jackie Chan making love on Arab, and immediately all staff in that section are sacked, wrote one person on Twitter. A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Hu Awa's chief finance officer, Man Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said it would waive the $9.40. 65 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Huawei phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, We wish friends around the world. Whose part who away success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December, the South China Morning Post reported. But it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who away phone owners are being offered other enticements to be can get a 20% discount at a border in Beijing. Seen in Beijing. Bring a Huawei phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday. HTTPS. T. Co. Q. U. X. L. 1. 9. Y. P. Q. L. P. Twitter. Com. Soccer. Lof. End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G. At least one phone has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpad Shenzhen, based lead and display manufacturer offered. Subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors alleged Ms. Man, 46, used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on Iran between 2009 and 2014. They also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Ms. Man, who is the daughter of Huawei's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Huawei's high-flying errors. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second largest smartphone maker. Since 2016, believing that it used Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions, Ms. Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. 
China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive since her arrest. Two Canadians, a former diplomat and a businessman, have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might intervene in the United States Justice Department's case against this man if it would serve national security interests. I'll help achieve a trade deal with China. If I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made, which is a very important thing. What's good for national security? I would certainly intervene if I thought it was necessary. He told Reuters news agency. Canada reacted by urging Mr. Trump not to politicize the situation. Our extradition partners should not seek to politicize the extradition. Process. I use it for ends other than the pursuit of justice. Foreign Minister Christie of Finland said, "A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Hu Jintao's chief finance officer, Man Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December." Shenzhen Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan Province said, "It would make the nine dollars forty." 65 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Huawei phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, "We wish friends around the world." To support Hu Awei's success and bliss, the offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported that it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Hu Awei phone owners are being offered other enticements too. They can get a 20% discount at a border in Beijing. Seen in Beijing. Bring a Huawei phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday. HTTPS T C O Q U X L 19 Y P Q L P I C Twitter com soccer love. End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpad Shenzhen, based lead and display manufacturer, offered. Subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors allege misman. 46. Used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on Iran between 2000 and May and 2014. They also allege she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a Separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Miss Man, who is the daughter of Huawei's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Huawei's high-flying heiress. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second-largest smartphone maker. Since 2016, believing that it used Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions, Miss Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive. Since her arrest, two Canadians, a former diplomat and a businessman, have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might intervene in the United States Justice Department's case against this man if it would serve. 
National security interests. I'll help achieve a trade deal with China. If I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made, which is a very important thing. What's good for national security? I would certainly intervene if I thought it was necessary. He told Reuters news agency. Can it reacted by urging Mr. Trump not to politicize the situation? Our extradition partners should not seek to politicize the extradition process. Are you set for any other than the pursuit of justice? Foreign Minister Christie of Finland said, "Two Scandinavian women tourists have been found dead in Morocco, with cuts to their necks." The country's interior ministry said. Both bodies were found near the town of Imleo in the High Atlas mountain range, near the foot of North Africa's highest peak, Mount Tepco. The women, from Denmark and Norway respectively, have not yet been named. A police investigation has been launched into their deaths. The Interior Ministry statement said, "A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to." Show solidarity with Huawei's chief finance officer.